with a mucus free diet. Check that out on YouTube. Um, and then, so that's another elimination diet. Basically you're fasting and eating fruit. Again, these extremes I think are good for a, for a period of time, but I don't know in terms of a lifestyle, you know, Paul Saladino looks ripped. So does Sean Baker. Those guys, they're jacked. They look ripped. All they eat is meat. The fruitarians don't look so good. <laughs> they usually look skinny and emaciated. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. I have eczema and I suffer with allergies. Frequently, I will have sinus issues, even though I don't feel ill. It looks like I'm crying when my eyes are watery. Any tips? Well, one of the first things you might want to look at is what foods you may be reacting to. Um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that my brother or my, um, my son uh, had like mucus, like you said, you have, you know, sinus issues and stuff. And he, it turned out that he was uh, reacting to milk, to dairy. So usually they're going to be uh, gluten, which is barley, rice, oats, barley, rye, oats, wheat, and spelt or dairy, gluten or dairy. Those are the two of the first things that you want to eliminate in an elimination diet. You know, um, early on in my fitness career, I suggested people follow an elimination diet, right? Which was uh, supported by Paul Check, and he showed you, you know, how to do a rotation diet or elimination diet. But then most recently, these recent years, what has become super popular as, as a legitimate elimination diet is the carnivore diet. The carnivore diet is basically when you go on an elimination diet, you can't eat anything except meat. Really? That's really what it ends up being. Um, when I was doing elimination diets back in, you know, the early 2000s, it was like basically cut out all grains, cut out all dairy, cut out all sugar. And basically you were left with meat and vegetables. And I remember, uh, you know, a part of how carnivore became popular was because of Jordan Peterson and his daughter. And Jordan Peterson was having some problems, you know, as many of us do based on the crappy foods that we eat. And he was basically eating uh, meats and vegetables because when you're on an elimination diet, you eat meat and vegetables. And he still wasn't getting the, the, the great results. You know, he's still having symptoms. And his daughter says, well, then why don't you cut out the vegetables? And he cuts out the vegetables. This is all in an interview that I think he did on Joe Rogan a couple of years ago. He cut out the vegetables. And then all the symptoms disappeared. Uh, shortly thereafter, the carnivore diet started gaining popularity. Now you've got guys like Paul Saladino and Sean Baker, both of whom are authors. You could read their stuff. They both got YouTube channels. You can you can follow them. Uh, there's a huge movement. There's this kid uh, Frank Rafino or something like that. Um, people are people are, are are throwing back to eating organs and stuff. I mean, it's really a, a renaissance of diet. And I'm not saying that you know it's been my experience anyway that living purely on meat is I couldn't do it. You know, I did it for a while, but ultimately um, I had to rotate through. But I did it you know, along with fasting. I did it as a result of having I had eczema on my scalp. That's why I shaved my head now. As I started having eggs in my scalp, I was trying to get rid of it. I had dandruff. It's all gone now. That's why my scalp looks so nice. And I just keep shaving it because I actually like the way it looks. So uh, you could try an elimination diet. You can go online. You can, you can look for different elimination diet protocols. Or you could just go straight to carnivore. <laughs> and that's what I would suggest you do. Um, Jazz says he's a vegetarian. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work as a vegetarian because basically everything in the vegetarian diet is uh, has some form of irritant in it. All vegetables have pesticides. Even if they're not sprayed, they have their own natural pesticides. All plant foods have built-in defense mechanisms. And so whether it be grains or vegetables or greens or... They, except for fruit, you might go fruitarian, right? I mean, that might be helpful for a little while. You might want to eliminate everything except fruit. I, fr I think fruit is the only other thing besides meat that don't have these like oxalates. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not the scientist behind it, but I just remember hearing Paul Saladino talk about these things. 
have an interview with him on my on this channel. Um, so you might want to. I would say if you're if you, if you can't do carnivore because you're vegetarian, which I would I would I would say shoot for carnivore first. But if you can't, then I would look into the work of uh, Arnold Errett. Arnold Errett was a scientist sort of guy in the, I want to say the late 1800s, early 1900s. He's got a book called Rational Fasting. Um, there's a bunch of, if you look up Arnold Errett on YouTube, there are a bunch of guys that are big Arnold Errett, uh, E-H-E-R-T, Errett uh, students. I think there's one called the Mucusless Diet. There's a guy that creates something called the Mucusless Diet or the Mucus Free Diet. Check that out on YouTube. Um, and then, so that's another elimination diet. Basically, you're fasting and eating fruit. Again, these extremes, I think, are good for a, for a period of time, but I don't know in terms of a lifestyle. You know, Paul Saladino looks ripped. So does Sean Baker. Those guys, they're jacked. They look ripped. All they eat is meat. The fruitarians don't look so good. <laughs> they usually look skinny and emaciated. Both are extreme elimination diets. I think both may help you get there. I would I would probably play around with the two. Uh, even eggs, I would take out eggs. Um, he says he eats eggs. So pure meat or pure fruit. And that's, I'm not the expert on that, but those are ideas that may support you. Obviously, you're having a histamine reaction to something more, most likely that you're eating, but it could also be what you're breathing. You could have mold in your apartment. I think it's what you're eating. I, I'm. You may be vegetarian for religious reasons or whatever, you know, um, but if you're a vegetarian for health reasons, I'm not a fan of that. I don't think that works. Um, evidently, because, you know, eczema, allergies, and all kinds of other shit that people end up with. Um, and so obviously there's something that's causing a histamine reaction. It could be what you're breathing. It could be what you're eating. It could be what you're putting on your skin, right? You know, um, chlorine in the water. If we take hot baths and chlorine water, it, it can get into our skin. It could destroy our, our digestive system. So these are a few things to take a look at, brother. Yeah, I hope that helps, man. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.